Jessica Van Brunt here on the floor at Modex. We are here with Fanuc and we're going to learn about what they're showcasing here. Can you tell us a little bit about your company? Yeah, so Fanuc is the world leader in industrial robotics. Um, we have over 200 variants of product. We've been actually manufacturing robots for over 40 years. Wow. And so what are you showcasing here? So we're showcasing a, a bunch of warehouse and logistic kind of solutions. And uh, obviously that's the show that we're at. But Fanuc from induction, to each pick, uh, we're doing both depal and palletizing, and also um, we have some kitting and, and uh, each picking going on as well. The new Fanuc CRX25. This is our highest payload collaborative robot uh, designed for ease of use and uh, fenceless palletizing for full layers. And so how does that change the way companies do business? This really frees people up where you might not necessarily have the high expertise of a, you know, expert trained programmer. This is all ease of use, drag, of, drag and drop programming, um, really brings that comfort level to new users. So uh, typically what, what our goal is, is make it easy for people to use, more people can use them. One of the things that Fanuc does is we, we pride ourselves on reliability, um, we pride ourselves on solutions, and we have a lot of great partners in this space along as well as the industrial side. Uh, from automotive to consumer products to the warehouse space. We actually have more, more warehouse robots, six axis robots installed uh, than any other company. And mainly that's because of our reliability uh, and, and the customers trust Fanuc as a brand for the future. And so what do you see for the future of the industry? Is there something you're excited about in particular? Yeah, I, I see you know this a lot here in a warehouse space, but one of the big things is the goods to person solutions. There, there's been a lot of goods to person solutions that are here that weren't here two years ago, and it's an exciting time because eventually, you know, with the labor shortages, we've got more opportunities to, to solve problems with automation solutions than ever before. So um, we're, we, we've got a lot of new companies here, um, a lot of startup companies, a lot of a lot of companies that are really pushing the envelope of uh, technology, like like Fanuc, um, and I think that it's an exciting time to be in robotics. It's an exciting time to be in this warehouse space, and um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the show. I think what we're going to see is a lot more a uh, adaptation of robotics. People kind of felt they had to get into it over the last couple of years. You know, didn't really have a choice, and then they're like, "Oh, this is great," you know. And uh, so now that people are starting to get more comfortable with it, you know, seeing uh, how much support there is and uh, how quickly you can uh, deploy these, it's, it's going to be a no-brainer for companies. Thank you so much. Thanks.